Hey, this is Gene from the Assisted Living Network. The robots are coming. Danger, Will Robinson. I'm sure a lot of you have heard that AI, artificial intelligence, robots in homes is coming. You know, they actually have things like that in hospitals right now, and we do assisted living in a residential setting. But imagine, if you will, for a moment, a senior having something around their wrist that would geo-target where they are. And at any time, a robot, something that is mobile, that has intelligence to communicate, could find them based on that location device and roll right up to them and say, hi, Mary, what is it you need? How are you feeling? And Mary can communicate and that robot can now communicate back. Imagine that. Imagine how much easier it would be to help take care of some of those things. Now, I am not saying robots are gonna replace caregivers, never will, but they can do a lot of things that the caregivers do now. And if they can take care of some of it, that hands-on, that special touch, that real deep communication, that can be done by the human caregiver. But robots are coming. Right now they're being used in hospitals for doctor's visits where the doctor can't leave their practice or doesn't have the time to and more efficiently can just send the robot out. Now that robot is actually pretty simple because it just does the RF device, it gets right to them, pulls right up and says, hi Mary, it's Dr. Jones. And Dr. Jones's face comes up on a screen, think an iPad. And now he can see her and she can see him and they're communicating together. You can actually do a diagnosis. Now some of you have seen that online on a computer where you can talk to a doc right there online. Imagine that being in the hospital. So the doctor can see, can even move the camera around to be able to see the resident or the patient, wherever it is that they are, and make a diagnosis based on their communication, what they're sharing, maybe even to connect into their vital signs if they're in a medical situation. Not residential assisted living, we don't do medical, but if they're in the hospital, that doctor would actually read those vital signs. Get a real good idea, read the charts, have all the information at their fingertips. Now think about the efficiency and the effectiveness of that. The doctor getting their eyes on that patient, that resident, right there without being there. They can go throughout the whole house, see 10 people, see 110 people very efficiently and effectively. It just makes sense, which means it's going to happen. Right now it's very expensive for those kind of technological solutions, but the prices are coming down and it's become more and more common. We all know that. Right now there's all kinds of other things that we can use inside a residential assisted living home that are on the technology side to make things better and easier for the caregivers, for the manager, even for the residents and their family. I wanted to talk about the one with robots though because it's in the news. I was just asked to give a quote in an article on that topic just this week. So I know it's in the news, it's on people's minds and I wanted to give my opinion. It's inevitable, it's going to happen. Let's not fight it, but let's make sure that we're controlling it in such a way that we get the good out of it and not the bad. Now, I don't even know what the bad would be. I'm looking at the good. I'm saying there's a way to be more efficient, more effective for those caregivers. And if robots or automation can help us with that, that's a beautiful thing. I want you to compare that to what you may be thinking about in your own life right now. An electronic car that is self-driving. There's companies out there right now, Tesla's one, we've all heard about that, where those cars are able to drive, navigate, stop and slow down and brake and do everything on their own. Now I know it does get a little bit scary because of the concept of this car just taking off on its own and maybe there's a glitch in the software, the system somewhere, but it is inevitable. And I actually read a quote this morning where it talked about the only way to make roads safe is to have all driving be automated. And that kind of makes sense because it's the people that are causing the problem, not so much the cars. If all the cars were automated, I don't know if you remember that movie where it was Will Smith and iRobot, where all the cars are driven by robots going quickly down the tunnel and he was driving his own car trying to keep up with it. All that human interaction, the errors that there, that's what caused the problems, not all the automated. But iRobot also brought up the big issue that we have in the back of our mind. What happens if somebody programs this, overrides this? It could create havoc and be bad. That's why people like everybody, from Bill Gates to Zuckerberg and everybody else is looking at this very carefully and saying AI, artificial intelligence, is not only coming, it can be very beneficial, but it could also have some negative consequences. So they're thinking it through very clearly, trying their very best to do it. I'm just telling you, it's coming. And I'm gonna embrace the good part and I'm gonna help kind of control that process so that our residents and maybe your residents at some point, they're gonna be cared by, cared for by some automated something. Let's make it a good experience for them. Automation, the robots are coming. Danger, Will Robinson? We'll find out. 
This is Gene from the Assisted Living Network saying do good and do well. If you like what you've seen and heard, please subscribe.